you ever yeah, sold and never cheap. seen it Mine's made of gold, you depleted I've been out the flame like a phoenix And my life like the blues need a Kleenex Trying to plant a seed but you can see it When they said you never loved me, they believed it How I'm still alive from the bleeding Someone pinch me cause I'm dreaming Now my heart broke from a dark throw You in shark mode, tear apart folks Still you come around and push a knife in me with the fuel girls it's our first week of rehearsals here at universal and it is amazing this is my third time doing nightmare fuel this time i'm the assistant choreographer for fuel girls and i cannot be more excited this week we've been working on some choreo that i've been doing some choreo that jazz has been doing the girls are absolutely crushing it luke is crushing it the whole team is keep it up girl <laughs> Well hi there, I'm Amy, part of the Fuel Girls. We're in our second week here in Orlando. We've been getting really busy, getting through a lot of choreo. I think we've done really well to be this far, this far in and got this much done. We're about to walk over to the stage right now. It's You're our so first girl. day. Hey! It's our first day on the stage. We're piecing everything together. We've been in the studio working really hard, so now it's going to be a really great opportunity to see how everything is going to work on the big stage. And yeah, really looking forward to it. I feel like spirits are still high. We're working really hard, blood, sweat and tears, but we're professionals. So we're just sitting and we're about to have our kind of first icebreak with the rest of the team. So the tech team who are all down there, who are, by the way, the best people ever, are going to introduce themselves to us and then we're going to introduce ourselves to them and then hopefully we're going to get started with rehearsals once everyone knows each other. Today we'll be up there. You want to see? Look at it. Take them over there, Luke. Over there. Take one. <laughs> We're super excited about saving it today. We really are. And uh, yeah, I did too. Can't wait to get on stage and show you guys. <laughs> way that we've been handling our props. I feel the choreography is so intricate, really dancey, stuff that we haven't really done before uh, movement wise and I really feel like we're all on each other's side getting each other to do things that we haven't done before. Me daddy. I just feel like it's magic. 
to see everyone pulling together and doing stuff that is just going to make this show really epic. <laughs> it's just such a fun environment. It doesn't necessarily feel like hard work or like feel like rehearsals or like it's dragging, even though we're here to like midnight sometimes. Um, it's just nice to be in a, an amazing atmosphere with just some incredible performers, incredible Hello. people. And um, yeah, we're having a good time. <laughs> Looks like it's starting. Thumbs down. Everybody hot? Love it. I'm stoked to be here. I feel really privileged to be with uh, such challenging and inspiring artists. I think it's been a vulnerable week because bodies are tired, minds are tired, but it's been a really exciting one and we've just finished our second run through from this week. I think we need a beer. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Don't we? <laughs> we do. Let's go get a beer. Thanks. Okay, come on. We're going to go into the Halloween Horror Nights, okay? MTV, this is our crib. <laughs> little dark, little scary. <laughs> Welcome to the dark side here, Harry. Training for the ballet, Potter! <laughs> it's went so quickly. It's mental. And now I'm like, oh my god. Next thing you know, we'll be on stage with the audience. <laughs> Luke, how are you feeling? I feel really tired, my ankles hurt, my back hurts, my shoulders hurt. I feel like we've rinsed ourselves for the last three days, but we're going to do four shows now. Best of luck. And we're ready! <laughs> Show three, Jess. Show three. Show three. I want to show you the sound of the audience when the lights go down. What do you think is important, like, in right now that needs to go in this documentary and the part of the process where we're at right now. Aww. How hard we work, how much we like each other as people. It's not just an on-stage thing, it's an off-stage thing. Even look at the proximity, how we're walking, it's so cute, we love each other. <laughs> yeah, I think that's, that we're real people, that we put like our hearts onto the stage, but then we also put it to each other. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> like now we're getting to that really beautiful stage in a production where you start to have real fun on stage and off stage because you're more comfortable and I love that part of the process because it feels like a time you can enjoy every aspect of it. You're still nervous, you're still working hard but you find the fun in different places and every day feels different and, um, and we know each other so well I think now we're learning each other's different days and different ways of being and it's just a really wonderful mood that we're at. You're a wizard, Harry. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Luke? <laughs> yeah. I'm filming. Remember, this may be a routine. You may be tired, you may be tired. Just remember that each and every one of you brings something very special to this. Each and every one of you plays a very, very important role in what we're about to talk about tonight. So let's go out there and have a good show. Have a good 66. Smash it out. We've just done 68 shows. That's so many! Um, that's a lot. That's my show. <laughs> I feel amazing. I feel very accomplished that I've performed the same show 68 times. It's a lot of times. It's a lot of times. <laughs> it's so many times. Wow. How's your energy? You know what? I have more energy on the last show. After that show, I can stay awake for hours. Right. My energy has helped. That's the Every Night Purge. That is the Every Night Purge. 
Thanks for working so hard, Shannon. You're Thanks. exceptional, you're a superstar. Thank you for working so hard. And thank you, you, <laughs> for also working really hard. Both of you have worked really hard. Tiana, you've also worked really hard. How do you feel after 68 shows? Oh, 68, yay, fun. I'm excited for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. See you there. <laughs> Man, the myth, the legend, it's Johnny, everybody. This is now the third year of shows we've been making with Universal Studios and their original concept of bringing fire, aerial, illusion and dance all together in a circus, chaotic 30 minute show. It really has been the efforts of all the different teams to put that together under Universal's creation uh, to have a show that could have been a fairly awkward show or just not been successful. But I think each element of the fire, illusion, magic, aerial, dancing has all come together to make quite a unique show of which I've not seen anything similar ever. Your girls over the last two years have built up a really good relationship with Universal Studios and they've put a lot of trust in us to deliver what can be and is looked at from the outside as quite a dangerous thing to do in fire performing and we bring that level of safety as a group that puts a big company like Universal Studios at ease of them putting trust in us, having us on stage every night. What do you mean? About to um, form out nightly investigations. We do this about four times a night to make sure the cast is up to scratch, ready to go on stage. So yeah, won't show you all the details, but here we go. <laughs> What do you have to say for yourself, young man? His name's Squibby. He's going to sacrifice himself. Oh my god, it's Whip Daddy! We're backstage. Here we are. I think we're going to have a little chat with Jazz. Hey! Hi. 100 shows. <gasps> That's wild. Hi, I'm Jasmine. And I'm here with the Fuel Girls as the choreographer on Nightmare Fuel Revenge Dream. <laughs> the Chow. The Chow. 100 shows in, how have things developed since the start of the show till now? Once your body is used to doing the moves and your mind switches off from the logistics of the move from start to finish, then you realise actually you've got extra time within this X amount of space and then you're like, oh, what else can we add in? So. I guess a uh, hundred shows, we need a bit of a regroup, but we are having a bit of a regroup and start to finish, just going through all those tiny details that like naturally we will lose just where our characters come to the surface. Really what we're doing is moving away fluidly from the initial choreography. So yeah, we just need to solidify what leg are we using here? What head are we using here? What count is it? And then just, yeah, restart so we almost go right back to the beginning. We're going to go and do a meet and greet with one of our amazing fans and we can't wait to go and see her and give her a prize. Three, two, one. I'm the aerialist and a fire performer with the Fuel Girls. So we're currently uh, seven weeks into the show this time around and really, really good. But the show is very different this year. So we made loads of changes. We have new characters, loads of new elements brought in. Automatically what I do is get in a very centered headspace before every single show. And I don't even worry about what's happening the rest of the show. I just stay in my exact moment for what's about to happen with Rope Dart. It's every night standing behind the stage, looking through the mesh and looking at the audience and looking at the act before me happen, seeing the haze and the light. Just the amount of love that I get to put into this and that I get to share on this stage is just so important to me. So that's really what I love about being here and just being able to give my all with a group that I really love. I am a performer. 
and then they, those are the moments that when they happen I realise this is where I'm meant to be and this is what it was all for and those are the moments that I like, those little moments when you stand back, the moments on the stage are amazing and filled with adrenaline, but those little moments when you stand back at the side of the stage and you go, oh my god, this has all been worth it, I'm finally here, like, this is really happening. And for me, being a performer and doing the things I do and creating art is like breathing. It has to happen. It's not something that I chose to do, it's something that I had to do. Sure, I feel like there's something really special about the audiences out here. It feels like the audiences really one value what you do, appreciate what you do, but makes doing a hundred shows in yeah. how in a, such a short window of time really worth it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and obviously, you know, the blood, sweat and tears that we're putting into this show definitely feels like we're feeling a little bit of gratification yeah. for that. Yeah, we do have our little things in place to keep our morale up as well, don't we, backstage? Yeah. So this is Josie reporting from Universal Orlando, and uh, what you see behind me is a National Solar Short Person Day. They're setting up right here in the uh, background. The more the show goes on, the better the chemistry gets between the cast and uh, does, I guess yeah. the cheekier the jokes get yes, at the same they time. Do. Uh, yes. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, big yawn from that, that lady a there. Yawn. That was a big yawn. What are you most looking forward to over the next hundred shows? So I'm looking forward to like pushing myself over the next hundred shows outside of the show. So love that. You know, get yeah. some gains in. Yeah. <laughs> outside of the show, I feel like external growth brings internal growth into the show as well. I'd like a four pack. Yeah, of, yeah. I'd love a four pack of Stella, please. Yeah. And I laugh. That's not what you meant, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>this whole experience has just been really beautiful from beginning to hopefully not end <laughs> but from the first moment I found out I was going to be working here at Horror Nights I was just so excited to be able to bring what I love fire performing just performing in general to an audience bringing character work to an audience getting to share that with friends getting to share that with my family when they come to see it honestly I just am really proud of myself I'm really proud of my entire team I'm proud of what we have put out there and I'm really just grateful for every single person that allows us to do this all the time so thank you Horror Nights thank you Universal thank you Hannah the Fuel Girls my entire team yeah really grateful for each of you On stage, I feel like it's definitely, I've developed a lot, but off stage, I've grown so much more as a person. Thank you for just showing up every day, because it's not easy to do a production that requires so much energy mentally and physically. And so I would say well done to everyone, and thank you for just showing up. Oh, one thing to my team. I love you guys. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I feel like I have such a beautiful individual connection with all of you. You make me feel so special. You've made me learn so much about myself and I've enjoyed learning all the beautiful, unique bits about you. And I've enjoyed having my little relationships with all of you in, in such beautiful, unique ways. And you make my stage time just feel like a playground in the most beautiful way. I just love that. All our inner childs have connected on this journey and we have just created such a beautiful playground on this stage and I'm so happy to spend it with you all and I hope we can do this again in many more features to come.
gotta trust my instincts. I know you're standing with me. Just how resilient everyone is. The second that we come on backstage to, to swap with the dancers, the, they are sweating, they are giving their all. And when I get to see like, the last part of their number, they are going ham. They are like going all in. No matter how tired they are, no matter what show number it is, they give the exact same energy from show one to show 200. It's, it's amazing. This entire show is quite literally made up of our blood, sweat, tears, talent and laughter. But most importantly, family. One big, dysfunctional, weird family. We had a vision and we smashed it. I'll forever be grateful for this chapter of my life. There's been highs and there's been lows and throughout all of it, I've had you by my side. And so I'd like to say thank you for the memories that I will keep with me for a lifetime. I was doing my eyeshadow and I realised that very soon it was going to be the last time that I do this. And it made me sad, but it also made me quite grateful that I've been on this journey and I've been able to experience so many different types of characters, so many different energies. Yeah, it's, it's bittersweet, definitely.